Alright, in this video we're going to do an integration by parts problem. And again, recall that the integration by parts formula says if you integrate u dv, that equals uv minus the integral of v du. And we'll talk about exactly what that means. So the idea is you're starting with the left side of this integral. We're going to label something to be u and we're going to label something to be dv. So in this problem I see two things. I see an x and then I see the e to the x and we'll attach the dx to one of those. So I have to pick one of those to be u. I have to pick one of those to be dv. And as a general rule of thumb, you'll pick u to be the thing that gets more simple when you take the derivative of it. So if I let u equal x, the derivative of that will be 1. If I let u be e to the x, the derivative of that is just e to the x, which really doesn't get any better. So I'm going to let u equal x, and then from that I'll get that du equals 1 dx. Okay, I'm going to pick dv to be, well, the rest of the problem, e to the x dx. And to get back to plain old v, well, since I have the derivative of v, to get back to v, I would have to find the antiderivative. But the antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And on these problems, you don't have to worry about the plus c on this part. Okay, so I've now picked u. I've now picked dv in my problem. So the idea is I've used the left side of this equation. I've rewrote this as u dv, and now I'm going to rewrite it using the right side of the equation. So it says you take whatever u is, in this case x, you multiply that by v, which in this case is e to the x, and then it says from that we subtract away the integral of v, okay, that's e to the x, times du. And again, du in this case is 1 dx. So the idea in general is hopefully you've went, you've basically turned one integration problem into a new integration problem. And notice part of the problem has no integral in it at all. So you're done with that part of it. Hopefully the new thing that you have left that you still have to integrate has somehow gotten better than what you originally started with. If you're getting something more complicated, chances are you picked the wrong u and the wrong dv. But in this case I can certainly integrate e to the x. So my x e to the x from the first part just drops right down. Minus, and now I find the antiderivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. Now that I've completed all the antiderivatives, I tag on my plus c, and that's it. I'm done. I found the antiderivative. 